Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video update because, let's face it, I've been really, really rubbish and I haven't done one for ages. Um, there's a few reasons for that. Um, I suppose one is that I started doing a degree about a year ago and things are getting more and more intense and um, I've been working so hard I haven't had a lot of time and I've moved and also I haven't really had that much to be able to tell you. Um, I haven't, this hasn't turned out to be the miracle wonder cure for me. Um, certainly not at this stage. I'm now at the one year mark and I have six months left to go to, to complete what I originally said I'd do, which was 18 months on the Weldon Protocol. Um, it feels a bit sad considering that, you know, I, I, I did enter into it with so much gusto and I know so many people who it's worked wonders for. Um, sadly, that doesn't appear to be me. What I might do, though, uh, once the next six months are over, if I still haven't seen anything positive, is deviate onto the Stratton protocol with the five antibiotics um, and try that instead because I know, again, I know people for whom one hasn't worked and the other one has. Um, so that's the thought in the back of my head. Um, I have to say, I haven't found the protocol the easiest. I still can't tolerate metronidazole very well at all. Um, I don't do... Um, I don't take it as, as often as I should um, because I just can't tolerate it and the time in between I tend to find I'm just recovering from the last pulse and uh, that's that's tricky and I think even the you know the zithromycin and the doxycycline it took me a long time to be able to really get in step with them and be able to tolerate them. Um, I don't get along with antibiotics very well in general anyway I never have um, so you know maybe this was never destined to be with me I don't know um, but I have gotten worse, but I think it's just natural progression. I don't think it's anything to do with taking the antibiotics. And in fact, you know, supposedly if you're taking something like minocycline or doxycycline, all it, at the end of the day, it's going to be helping, you know, uh, I've lost words now, sorry. <laughs> it's um, going to be helping reduce the inflammation. So it's only going, really going to be doing you any, be, going to be doing you good. <laughs> As you can tell, my speech is still not brilliant. Um... So yeah, that's where I'm at. I've I've have gotten quite a bit worse, but I, it has nothing to do with the antibiotics. Um, so yeah, I think over the next six months, uh, as this draws to an end, I will be thinking about what to do next and looking more at the stem cells because I mean, let's face it, there are just amazing things going on with the the like complete ablation stem cells at the moment. Um, looking at the Stratton protocol, and at the moment, I tomorrow, in fact, I want to start juice fasting. Now, I've always been a huge advocate of juicing, and um, I do think it's an amazing thing. But that, again, takes an awful lot of commitment that I seriously lack the willpower to be able to do. Um, but so tomorrow I want to be ignoring all normal food, pretty much. I want to be completely raw, and I want to be juicing three times a day. And just see, if I do it for two weeks, whether, simply, simply put, it improves my energy levels and improves anything else about my MS slash chronic fatigue. Um, I've never managed to do it particularly well, I think, because I lack willpower. You know, I've had this for 13 years, and um, at the beginning I was great with, with being on very strict diets and things like that, but as time's ticked on I've gotten worse and worse and worse at it. So uh, I, I think I need to kick myself up the bum and just go for it. And um, you never know, there may be some positive videos coming your way if... if that does help me at all, um, certainly quicker than this one has done from the last. So again, I'm really sorry that it's taken so long, um, and I'll try and give you an update video an awful lot sooner next time. Um, so take care everybody, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye!